Hello once again, audience. Solemn Dark here, bringing you another episode of XCOM Commander Enemy Unknown. To the situation room. Commander to the Situation Room. Playing classic Iron Man. Um, okay, so we have got our new facility available, uh, the workshop. Five more engineers and 7% refund on anything you build, and that's awesome. Um, so we are happy to get that, and our last mission was a success. No deaths. Uh, only one wounded. We got four free engineers, which will be awesome for building satellites. Now our panic has increased in Africa and North America, but in Russia it's decreased, so um, that's the best possible outcome. And uh, let's read this. The XCOM squad deployed Russia successfully stopped the, the alien room. adoption in Commander Moscow. Russia room. is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. Oh, they absolutely will. Thank you. We will be in touch, Commander. I know you will, mysterious man with no face. Okay, so we have got a lot to do now. Um, a lot of fun stuff to look at. Okay, um, let's first off take a look. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Yes. We're always glad to have more help down here. Me too, Dr. Shen. Okay, so now let's look at building the items. Remember how I told you that the, uh, if you remember, the satellite was 100 credits. 77. That's why you don't build satellites right away. Save your money. We want these. We need these. We absolutely have to have these, and they take 20 days to build. If I click manufacture, it won't queue one up Commander yet. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation days. room. Okay, so that it's it's really a big waiting game with those satellites. Um, you really don't get to speed it up till a lot later. So the latest I can build that is the 10th of March. If I don't start building by the 10th of March, they will not be ready for the end of the month. Now the Situation Room. This is what I've been waiting to show you the entire series. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage. Yes. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Yes. Okay, so this is huge. Um, I think this is, this is something that I really wish I would have known initially. So this is the little satellite icon. Like I said, wherever you choose to start, um, you get one satellite there. Now, um, you can only launch one satellite per country. I did not know that initially, and so I queued up a bunch of satellites, so I was like, I'm going to lower South Africa's panic to nothing. No, you cannot do that. Once they have a satellite, if they panic, they will eventually leave the council. It does lower it to launch them, though. Okay, so... Um, right now, if we click Launch Satellite, okay, keys to satellite deployment. This is worth reading. Expanding our satellite coverage is crucial. It. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't <sighs> think it's related to the UFO activity. Okay, thanks, Central. They say random, pointless stuff all the time. Expanding our satellite coverage is crucial to intercepting alien craft and maintaining the support of the Council's member nations. Deploy satellites to gain monthly funding from XCOM's Council nations, and we'll talk about that. Monitoring countries of the same continent will greatly increase the monthly rewards granted by that continent. If every country is in a continent is monitored, an additional continent-specific bonus will be granted. Those were the bonuses that we looked at in the first video. You get one for free, but then once you get a satellite in every area, you can get all of the other ones. We'll need interceptors deployed to the continents in which we have satellite coverage. Interceptors can be hired and transferred through the hangar facility. So, um, yeah, we'll cover that in a second. So, we Nothing have to report one... At the moment. Boards are clear. Yes. I wish I could disable that. Shut up. Uh, one of two in orbit, because we have one satellite uplink, we get one free satellite, but it does take an uplink to monitor it, so we can launch one more. If we launch it in Canada, you get 100 credits per month. You launch it in Mexico, you get 50. Argentina, 70. 80. 70. Uh, so, as you can see, that, and uh, as you would think, the richer countries, now Russia is 150. I didn't know it was that much. But if you choose the, uh, if you choose Europe, you get it in the United Kingdom, I believe. So you don't get the 150 a month. That's why I chose the U.S. Um, France is 80. Surprising Germany is 100. China, 100. Japan, 100. Uh, India and Australia, both 60. So, interestingly, um, what we want to do is at the end of the month, right around the 30th, um, we want to look at the countries that are panicking. Lately. <sighs> Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. I guess that's supposed to immerse you in the game. Anyway, um, so we want as many satellites as possible. If we're able to build another uplink, we'll be able to launch th uh, four more 
technically. I don't think we'll have the funding for it, but um, anyway, because we'll have two uplinks giving us four, plus the adjacency bonus giving us five, minus the one that we already have would give us four or more launches. So that's fantastic. Um, so that's great to see. Um, and it looks like Mexico and South Africa are in need of it the most. Unfortunately, those are two poor countries that won't give me much money. But we don't want them to leave the council because we will get money from them every month if they have a satellite in their country. So that money will add up over time. And the U.S. has 180 per month. So I thought it was 160. It's actually 180. Nice. Okay. So that's that. Um, now, if we visit the Great Market... members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. Yes, we should. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Sectoid corpses initially may appear worthless. They are not. I would refrain from selling them unless you absolutely must. I have never sold a single weapon fragment. I always use them. Um, we'll look at that later. Um, if you look at the finances, um, we are getting $255 gross per month. Our maintenance for our access lift and satellite inf uh, uplink suck out 25, plus our crafts suck out 30. And you so tell we the net we 200. Have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. <laughs> it's a breach of protocol. Funny. Anyway, um, so that's that. Um, and we'll probably get a request from a com country for something uh, later. But what we want to look at now is our facilities. So once this excavation is complete, we are going to immediately want to build another workshop. That will require three power. We have 22 out of 30 right now. That'll put us at 25 and build another uplink. And the uplinks will cost another five power, so it will put us at max, okay? Uh, power generators and thermo generators don't cost any power, they just generate it, which is awesome. So I'm hoping that I can sneak one of those in there either at the end of this month or the beginning of next, depending on how things go and how my funding goes. But we just need to get that other satellite uplink in the air. Um, it's going to suck a lot of funds to do this because the workshop is going to cost 130 um, the satellite uplink is going to cost, I believe, another 150 so I'm kind of scratching my head now. While those engineers were very helpful to have, uh, I'm nervous because I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to launch the satellites. I'll have the uplinks, but I won't have the satellites yet. So um, you kind of have to strike a happy medium. I may put up one more satellite because that's all I can anyway if I don't get that second uplink built by the end of the month. Um, and I can't build this anyway until I spend 130 credits to get the other workshop because, again, satellite uplink not buildable without 10, 10 engineers. I'm at 9 right now. So um, there's all of that. Um, our soldiers are fine. We don't need to look at that. The research... I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Yes, they Why are. abduct humans seemingly at random? Because it's fun. There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Of course there is, Dr. Mellon. So, at this point, xenobiology, I don't even remember what it gives us, but we don't need it right now as much as we need research on alien materials. We need that armor. These guys will start this punching through This technology has a number of quickly. potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Thank you. Um, again, we're okay. We don't have to queue up a satellite until the 10th. I'm hoping for another mission where we could get some much-needed funds so that we could build the workshop, get the second uplink queued, and uh, hopefully buy another satellite. I, I'm tempted to buy another one, but in, in, on the off chance we got more engineers, it would be cheaper so we can save the money. We don't have to, so we'll wait till the 10th. So here we go. Excavation complete. Okay. Whoop. Okay. So now we're on March 7th. If we build now, I wish I would have stopped it on the 6th, the workshop. And I hate that the tooltip doesn't tell you how long it takes. You have to actually build the darn thing, I believe, um, before it'll tell you how long it takes. So I've got another screen open, um, and it takes 10 days. We're on the 16th, when this finishes. It will be really, really tight. Um, what month are we in? We're in March. 
So there's 31 days. The 17th. Oh, wow, I don't like that. Well, we need it anyway, so I may have just screwed up. I don't think so. I think it's going to be about as close as I've ever cut it, but I think we can get that workshop done. Oh, so it will tell, tell you. Uh, 10 days, 130 credits, and uh, you need six engineers to do it. We've got nine, so we're good. Um, we have three power uh, that, that it will need, and so that's fine. We just Work crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the facility is operational. The thing that I hate, um, I wish the developers would make it so that when you're done with an excavation, it would notify you. Because um, if I would have been able to stop that a day early, I could have gotten this done a day early and therefore had a little bit of a buffer to get that uplink. So anyway, um, again, we don't need to build a satellite until the 10th. So we're going to wait till the 10th. And if we don't get a mission, we will immediately queue up at least one satellite because that's all that we have uplinks for and so it's kind of wasteful to build those satellites unless you have uplinks to control them so here goes nothing okay gotta build one so right now we're gonna build one order it Take 77 days, mid order. 20 days from now, it will be done. And if you expand your event list, this is kind of nice. It'll tell you that in 20 days you'll have a satellite, 22 days you'll have a council report. So, and we only have 83 credits, which is not enough to build the second uplink anyway. So, uh, at this point, all the soldiers, there's nothing I can do there. We're researching our alien materials, which will give us better armor, so we just have to wait for that. And we've got a soldier returning to active duty. Now we're on the 13th. If we were to queue up another satellite at this point, it would not matter because it would complete uh, in um, <laughs> the next month. And so we're kind of we're only getting an extra satellite launch this month, and we'll save it till the very end to see who needs it. Um, our alien materials are done, which is awesome. Now we can get a nanofiber best vest, which is actually kind of useless. Um, <laughs> and you're probably going, well, why did you research that? Uh, because now we can look at a couple of different options. Um, weapon fragments and xenobiology. Um, we actually, because I'm so close on weapon fragments, or actually on xenobiology, I'm tempted to just finish it. <sighs> but I believe it just queues up for alien research and things like that. and Wow, that's 12 days for experimental warfare. Um, so, what we'll do is um, we're actually going to go weapon fragments. Um, and hopefully this will this will make sense. I hope I'm not making a mistake here. I can't quite remember what we're looking at. So, here we go. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Great. Contact detected. Okay, first UFO. Interceptors go. So, we're going to try to shoot one down. Skipping that cutscene. We have shoot eyes on down. the bandit. Okay, shot him down. Interceptor shot down. Surveillance indicates crew moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained light damage, which you can see there. A little bit of damage there. Not too bad. We'll repair in a couple of days. And everyone's happy, and now we send the Sky Ranger out. So now, we actually have all of our classes, yay! Okay, so, um, we could decide to go with all frags as the, uh, as the weapon options, or we could decide to bring a med kit for our support class, which is kind of what they're designed to do. Um, but we're actually not going to have to make that decision yet, because 
I'm going to stop this video now and you can join me on our first alien crash site video next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Please uh, don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe and uh, join us next time for more video game play on XCOM Enemy Unknown. Thanks for watching. This is Solemn Dark